I've done so many workshops and uh, nothing compares to Roberto's workshop. He goes so far to try to make people understand. And he'll adapt his class, he'll modify his class to that format. He gives a lot of information, he develops techniques that makes it easier for us to understand. It's a different method of teaching because once he breaks down the information, you get pieces and pieces and you put that puzzle together. Uh, it's actually fun to observe people have their light bulb moments, like they turn on switch and you can actually see people's expression and energy changing as they learn. People from all different levels. It can be beginners and it can be advanced photographers. It, we are all there learning together and we all can take something from his class. But as soon as we put a diffuser in front, the light gets thrown in every angle and a bunch of angles are going to hit her face and those angles are going to illuminate the shadow of the nose. The light will bounce in different ways and you read the shadows and you can choose your location based on the shadows around the subject. Her neck is bright, that's the, that's the floor. So we have to quit, put equal amount or more on the actual face. That's it, that's it. Ready? Go, go, go. Yeah. Good job, man. You have to increase the power. That high-speed sync decreases the power by a lot. The workshop that Roberto puts on is hands-on. You get to see the see how him in action, and then you get to do what he does and practice it. And we're able to all work together as a team, and then we work individually. So I'm not saying put her there, but you could put the reflector there to reflect light into the staircase area. I really enjoyed Roberto's enthusiasm. He is amazing. I am so glad I took this class because I did not know I was gonna learn so much this short of time. I've never used flash to this extent before and all the different techniques that he's been using and building on from the front light to the uh, flag to the hair light and the, the way that the zoom works, everything like that has been amazing. I've never learned it that, to that extent before. You're cutting the ability for this side of the diffuser to reach this side of the face you have to bring more diffusion material in front of her face so that when this gets hit, this side, that rays of light reaches the other side of her face. If this sun was bouncing, it would bounce it up and it would, it would get rid of the shadows also. So you can improve the light by a little bit if you just turn their face this way, because that's where the light is. Okay, as I do this, look at her face, it gets illuminated. You see that? Subtle, but it's happening. Take your body a step back, go ahead and take a step back, and then lean forward so the face is the brightest part, right? That, look at the dimension between this and this. Mm -hmm. Now look at the shading here and here, and the light's hitting her directly on her face. That's shaping her middle. This is dodging and burning with natural light. So, Basically, that cactus, that rock, is killing the light here. When you take a photo raw file, most of the energy and the power of the processor is for the highlights. If you're printing, you gotta pay attention to how the shadows are being exposed. The, the zoom head is a 200. This is going to be better for like a guy, more harsh. Circumstantial light is about maximizing your possibilities with that equipment. And flash this at full power, and this will bounce warm light back to her. The location is very cool, yeah. It's worth to, to travel from, from Germany to, to this uh, location and to that workshop, because I learned a lot. Just working with Roberto is amazing. And the really wonderful thing about it is I've taken other workshops, but they break it down in a way that's understandable and gives you a foundation to build upon, not only at the workshop, but afterwards. Literally taking these two workshops has changed the way that I think about my photography, 
and it's given me a path to get to where I want to be with my work. This was the best uh, workshop. Um, not only did I learn tons about lighting and meet some great photographers, I also got to take home a print um, that I took this week. So um, take the print, come back in, work on it for a few minutes and send it to the printer. Um, and I love that Roberto was able to get um, that paper and use the printer and show us exactly what it means to take a photograph for print. This class helped me a lot actually, uh, not to only understand the techniques of lighting, natural lighting and off camera flash lighting, but to utilize them in a just re regular environment, you know. Now I'm confident that I can make a great picture anywhere, like literally anywhere and anytime. Well, I really enjoyed at this lightning class that we were doing a lot of exercise outside. It's a really beautiful surrounding and you get nice nature really interesting backgrounds. We had super fantastic models who were super nice and fun to work with. This workshop, I was so happy because it's the first time that I can, I have the chance to enjoy my photo in a print. So it was so cool to see my photo in a great quality print.